Four had double-digit runs again tonight, a 10-4 win over the Sioux Falls Canaries as we head down to the field and visit with the skipper, Doug Sibonik. And, uh, well, Doug, another double-digit performance tonight, uh, 12 hits, and good to see uh, the offense finish strong with, uh, with a five spot in the eighth inning. Yeah, the offense really stepped up tonight here late in the game and timely hitting and got some guys on. And Frankie had a big night with his stick. He, you know, drove in six or seven runs, I guess. And, you know, I um, thought Ernst pitched a good game. Yep. He was not – he made pitches when he had to. He'd walk a couple guys and then he'd get out of it. So he knows how to do that pretty good. And he was hurting a little bit tonight. Um, but he – persevered he wanted to stay out there and we pushed him into the seventh and hitter by hitter when we got there so I thought he was pretty effective and he was on his game that's a good point I mean we, we talk about when he came on the scene last year late in the regular season and then got a playoff start at Gary and, and really the fact that um, he battles I mean he, he might struggle at times but boy he, he never gives in to hitters yeah his fastball is usually pretty good Breaking ball was good tonight. I mean, he got off to a slow start this year with command. He was out of rhythm, wasn't pointing the ball to the ground out of his glove. Had a lot of things going on. So after he figured it out, he was pretty effective there from July and August. I mean, he's been, he's 9-6, and six and he's, he was 0-5 at one time. So, yep. I mean, that's just uh, how his season has gone. But it was, you know, he picked it up and was able to, uh, get himself straightened out uh well the f uh, third game of the series uh, coming up tomorrow night and uh you guys see your starter still to be determined so still thinking about that i'm sure we're gonna go with our closer tomorrow night and let him start the game um we're at that point where we have to so we'll just close the game with woods and uh you know, we'll have a short bullpen but hopefully he can give us five innings and i think he can he's got a good assortment of pitches he's just Got to command his own early in the game. If he can do that, he can be effective. He throws the ball hard enough. So um, I'm sure he's done it somewhere along, along the way. And we don't have a starter for tomorrow night, so mm -hmm. he's the guy. All right, very good, Doug. If you could like, hand the mic right. over to uh, Frank Salerno. And, uh, well, congratulations, Frank, and a uh, great night. And who would have thought a few weeks ago when you were uh, – Called upon to fill a spot uh, back uh, back home in New York as the Red Hawks were finishing up a road trip, and all of a sudden you're playing professional baseball, and it's got to be a night you've dreamed about for a long time. Yeah, it was a great night. Just one of those nights that at the plate I felt good. Every pitch I saw I was seeing pretty well, and just tried putting the ball in play, driving in some runs, getting on base, and uh, pretty much everyone was hitting tonight. Ernst threw a great game, and our defense played well. Uh, take me back to that uh, first pitch in the bottom of the first just quickly against uh, the lefty uh, Berger. I was going up there looking for a middle end fastball, and he put it right there on a platter first pitch, so turned on it. Impressive. You, you pulled a couple of balls for doubles, and then you took one the opposite way as well. So it just, uh, it, it just kind of one of those nights where the ball's looking, ball's looking like the size of a beach ball. Yeah, that one down the right field line was pretty ugly, but I'll take it. Hey, as uh, I'm sure when you... <laughs> <laughs> Braxton got you. They were just waiting for, for timing, and they, <laughs> they got you there as he uh, got the old shaving cream pie in the face there. Take a moment to, to, to get yourself cleaned off there, Frank. We'll continue oh. on here in the post. It's going to take more than a moment. <laughs> there we go. Josh Buckholtz will take care of a towel there, but uh, that's the celebratory pie, or the old pie in the face that you'll uh, gladly take, and it's got to be interesting. Did you ever think you, did you ever think sometime this summer in your wildest dreams you'd be playing professional baseball? No. You know, I was working in an office, and it was pretty miserable. <laughs> then I got a call, and I was pretty thankful for that, and I'm trying to make the best of it and have fun with a great group of guys. What's been the thing about uh, maybe, let's say, the speed of the game and uh, just kind of learning how to, to play the game at this level? It's very different than college, I'll tell you that much. But it's a lot faster, and just trying to still adapt to it and do it the best as I could to help the team win. Frank, congratulations on a career night. How about a nice hand for Frank Salerno uh, Thank as you. part of a 10-4 win for the Hawks tonight. Frank Salerno goes four for four, four runs batted in as he has his first professional home run and uh, also uh, four runs batted